who march on in this game. Nader Manua is with us. We'll be hearing from Nader in just a moment. But Stevie, let me start with you and let me talk about that Mo Salah chance. As Shaka said, turning point in this game, would it have made a difference had he put that away? If Mo Salah puts that in the back of the net, I think Liverpool will go on at least to, to get into extra time. Uh, and, and if not, win the game. I think it's that important. It's, it's horrible. And, and I think... I said that the last couple of weeks, Liverpool going forward, whether it's Mo Salah, Nunes, Dia, anybody else, are off form. I mean, it's, it's five games since Liverpool scored a goal from open play. They've had a set piece and they've had penalty kicks. They haven't scored a goal in open play since Sheffield United. I mean, you cannot win games of football when your front line is in that sort of form. And, and that summed up the sort of form that Mo Salah has been in since he came back from injury. Just, just off the pace, uh, touch is gone. And when you're off the pace and your touch is gone, your confidence is gone. Because that chance he had today was about as simple as it gets. It could not have sat up any nicer for him. Goalkeepers in no man's land. It just takes a bit of accuracy and a decent connection. And my goodness... I think, I think it comes off his shin. So, yeah. From me, from that point on, I wasn't particularly confident of Liverpool winning this game. Do you think the same as Stevie, that it might have been a different story than Shaka? Uh, absolutely. Uh, I mean, in all honesty, just watching the game with, with a, a certain former Liverpool player who we know, Kay, um, <laughs> who was stomping around the room to start with, and then after that chance, it was no more stomping. That, that told it, it, its own story. Yeah. But, but without question, that goal goes in. At, at that point, um, what, 33, 39 minutes on, on, on the clock, um, and all of a sudden, Atalanta are, are stuck in between. Do we defend what is now a one-goal lead, or do we kind of go on and play our natural game. We've got our own fans here and, and they'll, they'll be uh, nervy as well as, as, as they watch us unfold because we know Liverpool at their best, Mo Salah in halfway decent form, can score three, four, five goals on you if, if you aren't overly careful. Um, that doesn't go in and you, you sense not just Mo Salah's form but, um, but Liverpool's kind of reliance on that form it starts to win, and you start to believe that, yeah, the Lady Luck is, is on our side a, a, a little bit, and that changes everything about the momentum um, of, of the game. Can I just add why, if that had gone in? Because the rest of the game is going to be calm for Liverpool, because all they have to do is score one goal. It completely changes how they go about it. The longer this game got on, went on, you saw how desperate they got how they're trying to force it. When you try and force things, you lose your accuracy, you lose your timing. And by the end of this game, it was just frantic. Had Mo Salah put that ball in the net, Liverpool could have calmed down and played the football and let it happen. That's the difference of him missing that chance. There is, of course, Gab, the argument to be made that they're just giving themselves too much to do. And in Bergamo, after that 3-0 deficit... Yeah, no question about it. I mean, obviously, uh, overturning uh, <laughs> a three-goal uh, gap is always going to be a tall order. But it, it was interesting what Stevie was saying there about, um, you know, getting frantic. I, it's something that, you know, with some of Liverpool's uh, disappointing results in the league, something Klopp also uh, emphasized as well, that, you know, they're, they're, they're snatching at chances and, uh, and, and they're not turning chances into goal. And, you know, and, and I think, this is maybe a carryover from, from what we'd seen in, uh, in the Premier League. Yeah, let's get to that then, Nadim, because obviously we were just saying, and as Stevie was saying, those goals not coming from open play. Obviously, this was a win on the night, but it didn't really count for much. You look at the recent run of form, obviously that loss to Crystal Palace, the loss to Atalanta, and the draw against Manchester United. Do you think this is more than just... A, do you think this is like a turning point? We obviously saw that most of our chance being a turning point in this game. Is this a turning point in their season? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. I think Klopp himself was trying to take the positives from the fact that they did win the game today, even though they went out on the tie. But I think as you've seen through those four games, you can picture some of the big chances they've had within that. And those big chances really matter. I think Stevie's described their situation very, very well. Looking at a forward line that just isn't clicking at this moment in time. 
And those chances that where they, maybe you missed early in the season, maybe someone else will step up, maybe it's Jota, a goal from defence or something. But instead, there's a reliance on them to do it, but they're not doing it right now. So I think for Klopp himself, he's going to look at his side and try and find a way to get the most out of them in this final six games of the season. Who knows, maybe it could lead to a Premier League title. But if they continue like this for maybe a game or two games more, you know, even that dream itself will be gone. And I think to talk about that chance that Salah had with the, uh, with the volley, I think to tell a tale about confidence, if you were to just freeze frame it before Salah shoots and then also now go back to Cole Palmer's half volley from further out on his weaker foot on Monday night, you'd be thinking, well, of course Salah scores and Cole Palmer misses because of the difficulty of those chances, but confidence can make such a big difference. And instead we see Salah miss the target by almost 10 yards. But Cole Palmer make it seem like he's right foot and it's the easiest thing in the world. You know, these little moments matter, little bits of belief matter. I think from a Liverpool perspective, you know, they need to find something from that front line because at the moment it really is misfiring. A confidence is going to be essential, Stevie, if they are to win a Premier League title right now. What are the chances after what we've been seeing of late? Well, right now the only thing they can look at is making sure that they win against Fulham away. Uh, and considering, you know, we, we, you just put up there the recent results... Can you really, can you really with any confidence, I certainly I can't, turn around and say that the next three games, Fulham away, Everton away and West Ham away, are, are absolutely, they're going to take nine points. I cannot, absolutely cannot. And that means that, again, I can't sit here and tell you that Liverpool can win the Premier League because right now, the way they're playing, uh, the form of the front players, if they continue to play like this, they can't win the Premier League. Let's talk about Atalanta, though, Gab. Obviously, this is a great achievement for Gasparini's men going through to the semi-finals of this competition. Yeah, it's tremendous. I mean, um, some people are saying it's their, their greatest ever uh, achievement. Of course, they, they, they've been here before, uh, many, many moons ago. And, of course, they came really, really close a couple of years ago uh, when they nearly knocked out uh, uh, Paris Saint-Germain. So... Uh, I think it shows that on the day, um, or on the night, I should say, uh, Gasparini can put a game plan together that, that can jam up an opponent. Obviously, we saw that more uh, in, in the first leg. And, you know, that's why so many people rate him so highly as, as, as a coach. So let's not forget, I think Atalanta, what, eighth in, in Serie A right now? Um, so it's not something that works for him week in, week out, or certainly hasn't this week, this season. But to me... It's all the more credit for, for getting it to come together against a side like Liverpool.